so you say you're sick. And we want to talk about what being sick means. Uh, and being sick means you have a disease. And you're like, well, a cold isn't a disease. Actually, a cold is a disease. Um, by definition, the definition of disease is anything, not an injury, that changes homeostasis. Okay, so uh, obviously breaking your arm is an injury. Okay, that's not a disease. Uh, but anything that changes homeostasis that's not injury related is a disease. Okay, and what we mean by changes homeostasis is not like uh, you see somebody you really like and your heartbeat goes up. Well, you're like, well, that changed homeostasis. Well, not really. Okay, uh, running doesn't really change homeostasis. Your temperature heats up, but it goes back. Okay. It's when it stays changed, I guess. And there are basically six types of, quote, diseases uh, that we can talk about. Uh, and here they all are. Bacterial disease, viral disease, parasitic disease, hereditary uh, disease, uh, cancer, and autoimmune diseases. Let's talk about each of them. First of all, bacteria. Uh, bacterial disease is caused by varieties of bacteria which produce poisonous substances to you. Okay, either, and you're not necessarily going to have to remember this, but there are either endotoxins, that means that that's something that's poisonous to you that the bacteria has in itself, or exotoxins, where the bacteria produces a poison that causes you to be sick. And uh, the way we fight bacterial diseases with antibiotics and in class we'll talk about uh, the antibiotics a little bit in a little bit more detail but basically what they do is they destroy bacterial cells and leave healthy cells alone. Uh, some examples of bacterial disease uh, strep throat is caused by streptococcus bacteria, botulism uh, a form of food poisoning uh, which we'll talk about a little bit more in class also um, is a bacterial disease and pneumonia. These are just three examples of bacterial disease. Okay, and there's a, another illustration of bacteria. Extraordinarily small, uh, single-celled organisms, most of which cause us no harm. In fact, they're pretty con they're extremely common, but a very few of them cause disease. A viral disease. Basic definition of viral disease. Uh, their cause is a disease caused by little teeny teeny. Uh, that word is minute, not minute. Living question question mark. There's some debate about that. Viruses. And uh, what viruses do is they inject their DNA into your cell's DNA and make your cell produce viruses. This is kind of like the ultimate parasite. They produce so. You have a cell, virus lands on it, injects its DNA into your cell's DNA, and now starts producing viruses instead of what it's supposed to do. And that uh, can, then the cell explodes, viruses come shooting out of the cell, and infect other cells. And so viral disease can very quickly spread. Uh, viral disease cannot be killed with antibiotics. We have a few antiviral drugs which work on the mechanisms by which viruses make you infect your cells. But uh, really, we depend on our immune system to fight these off. And we're going to talk about the immune system in some detail. Uh, some examples of viral diseases. Rabies is a viral disease. Ebola virus uh, is this guy here which is uh, very uncommon, but often talked about. Viral disease and colds are viral diseases. Third kind of disease is parasitic disease. Parasitic disease is caused by any variety of small organisms. They could be protists, like amoeba, in the kingdom protista. Uh, they could be animals like a roundworm, really tiny worms. They could be a fungus, 
Okay, and uh, what usually happens in a parasitic disease is you ingest, you take in some kind of egg or egg-like thing of a parasite and it hatches out inside of you. And then when it hatches out inside of you, that infection, you've been infected with a parasite. And the parasite uh, usually lives off of you. So uh, what happens in this case, this is uh, also known as Giardia, also known as Montezuma's Revenge, or uh, why you shouldn't drink the water in Mexico, or in other countries when you travel uh, to south and central, south of the border to central and south America, is that in the water is the Giardia. You ingest cysts, which are kind of like eggs. They come out when they're warm and in your small intestine, and they colonize your small intestine. That causes diarrhea and vomiting. Uh, this is your body's trying to get rid of it. You pass the cysts out in your feces, so you flush them down the toilet. They end up back in the water. You're like, well, why don't they just die there? Well, there's other organisms that they live in, too. They think it's beavers, but it could be lots of different things. And then, so they can live in basically two different organisms called hosts. Okay? That's just that parasite. There's plenty of different kinds of parasites. Um, one of the nice things about living in America is that we don't hear about some of the really nasty parasitic diseases that are going around out there. Uh, sometimes antibiotics work on these. Uh, sometimes humans aren't supposed to be the host. We just happen to be in the way, kind of and they make us sick. Uh, sleeping sickness is one kind of uh, parasitic disease you may have heard of, carried by my favorite, the tsetse fly. Uh, dysentery is another parasitic disease. Uh, hereditary diseases. Kind of quickly through this, because this really doesn't uh, apply to our class too much, uh, is a genetic disease inherited from your parents. This little boy has Down syndrome, okay? Uh, so there are a few kinds of genetic disease that we know about, uh, or actually many kinds of genetic disease we know about. Uh, we're trying to work on things called like gene therapy, where you inject the gene into the person somehow and get their genes to be changed. You can't do it with this little boy anymore. Uh, genetic engineering. There's a big field now working on uh, helping work with hereditary diseases. Down syndrome is an example. MD is called muscular dystrophy, another example of hereditary disease. Cancer. We've talked about cancer before. Just a brief review. Uh, hence, cancer can be inherited, caused by a virus, or sometimes we don't really know why it starts. Uh, cells are dividing uncontrollably, crowd out normal cells. If they break off and spread throughout the body, it's a malignant cancer. And that's what real cancer, I guess if you would call it, quote, real cancer, that's what it is. Chemotherapy kills the dividing cells. Autoimmune diseases, this may be new to you. Autoimmune diseases are when the immune system attacks its own, bo the own body. And we really don't know why. So for some reason, the immune system attacks you. Uh, some examples. MS, you may have heard of MS, or multiple sclerosis. What happens in multiple sclerosis, and when we talk about the uh, nervous system next time, we're actually going to talk about these two diseases again. Uh, the myelin around your nerves is destroyed. We'll come back to that. That leads to all these nervous system problems that people can't walk and can't talk correctly and uh, can't feel things correctly. Uh, myasthenia gravis, I found out that a uh, boy here uh, has this disease. And an enzyme that breaks down ACH, this is acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is the, is the uh, reason that your muscles contract when they get a nerve message. And we can talk more about this when we talk about the nervous system also. Uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, uh, you may have heard of this, also known as ALS is a nervous system, is an autoimmune disease where the, nerve, the immune system attacks motor nerves in the person's body. And again, we don't really know why. If we knew why, we might be able to do something about it. So that's a uh, 
pretty brief overview of the different kinds of disease.